Greetings to all my dear students. I am Ishwarya Jain and I welcome you all on behalf of Pharma Scholastics. And today we will start our pharmacognosy chapter number one according to MSBT syllabus. Today we will start with pharmacognosy in that chapter number one. So what is the importance of the subject? Man knows disease since origin of human being. But causes of them were not known. They were assumed evil spirits. So people tried to cure them with plants which were easily available. In that way ancestors accumulated knowledge of plants and preserved them in literatures such as Rig Vedas, Ayurveda, the ancient science of life, Materia Medica and Ebers Papyrus. So what is really pharmacognosy? Pharmacognosy is principally concerned with plants, materials. However, there are small number of animal products which are traditionally encompassed within the subject. For example, produced from wild, for example from whales, musk, deer, then products from the fish such as cod liver oil or shark liver oil. Then even domesticated animals such as hog, sheep, cattle, etc. Then wild insects and cultivated such as bee beeswax. Marine organisms, both plants and animals with potent pharmacological actions are receiving increasing attention in the search for new drugs. So once again. Pharmacognosy is the study of the drugs from the natural sources. The study of drugs from the natural sources such as plants, animals and microorganisms. And once again, pharmacon means drug and gnosis means knowledge. The contents of the chapter number 1 are first we will learn the definition, then we will learn the history, then scope and fourth is indigenous system of the medicine. Pharmacognosy is the subject of crude drugs obtained from plants, animals and mineral origin. It is the objective study of the crude drug of the natural sources processed scientifically. The word crude drug itself is self-explanatory and is used with the meaning of simple drug and also as it exists in the natural form. The crude drugs are plants and animal drugs that have undergone no other process than collection and drying. Broadly, pharmacognosy is defined as the scientific and systemic study of structural, physical, chemical and biological characters of crude drugs along with their history, method of cultivation, collection and preparation for the market. These synthetic drugs do not fall within the scope of pharmacognosy. With the recent developments in science and technology, several chemicals which were originally found in plants and animals are synthesized at present. The reason for the synthesis are either the scarcity or non availability of natural drugs in which they occur. Apart from the lack of knowledge of chemical process required to extract them. History of Pharmacognosy History of Pharmacognosy is actually the history of medicine that is the medicinal plants. C. A. Seidler, a German scientist who coined the term Pharmacognosy in 1815. In his work entitled Atlantica Pharmacognostica, from combination of two Greek words that is Pharmacon, a drug and Gignosco, to acquire knowledge of. So you should know who coined the term pharmacognosy and the name of the scientist is C. A. Sidler. Now we will learn about Hippocrates. Hippocrates is credited with being the first person to believe that disease were caused naturally not because of superstition and gods. Hippocrates was credited by the discipline of Pythagoras of Alling philosophy and medicine. He 
separated the discipline of medicine from religion believing and arguing that disease was not a punishment inflicted by the gods but rather the product of environmental factors diet and living habits so hippocrates known as the father of medicine dealt with the anatomy and physiology of human beings particularly with the circulatory system and nervous system he prepared famous oath for physicians which is still taken by the physician claudius galen so what were the galen's theory galen put forward the theory that illness was caused by an imbalance of the four humors that is blood phlegm black bile and yellow bile he recommended specific diets to help in the cleanse of the putrified juices and often purging for and bloodletting would be used as well as running a busy medical practice he ran his own pharmacy stocked with his own medicines made from animals and vegetable extracts many of the plants being grown in his own garden so hence galenical pharmacy various method of preparations containing active constituents of crude drugs and even at present the branch dealing with the extraction of plants and animal drugs is known as galenical pharmacy dioscorides dioscorides a greek physician in 78 ad described several plants of medicinal importance along with some minerals and animal products in his famous drug treatise that is the materia medica indian history of medicinal plants is dated back to 3500 bc the curative properties of plants have been mentioned in sukatas of rigvedas and atharvedas ayurveda has also described good number of plants with the therapeutic properties the ancient well known treatise in ayurveda is the sushruta samhita sushruta wrote sushruta samhita which described procedures for surgery sushrut was an indian physician and surgeon he knew about 1500 formulations of natural products obtained from plants animals and minerals he used to operate on various systems and organs in human body and animals his collection is known as shushrut samhita charak charak was born in 300 bc acharya charak was one of the principal contributors to the ancient art and science of ayurveda a system of medicine and a lifestyle developed in ancient india charak was crowned to be father of medicine his renowned work charak samhita is considered an ayurvedic encyclopedia it describes ancient theories on human body etiology symptomology and therapeutics for a wide range of diseases The Charaka Samhita also includes sections on the importance of diet, hygiene, prevention, medical education, the team work of physician, nurse and patient necessary for the recovery of the health. Scope of pharmacognosy. Most of the crude drugs are obtained from plants and only a small number comes from the animal and mineral origins. drugs obtained from plants consist of a entire plants or their parts ephedra and dhatura are entire plants while sinna leaves and pods nakswamika seeds and cinchona bark are the parts of the plants crude drugs may also be obtained by a simple physical process like drying example opium or extracting with water example is katechu and agar several other useful substances affecting health of animals and human beings are also included along with the crude drugs in the study of the pharmacognosy 
these substances include allergens antibiotics flavoring agents colors pesticides immunizing agent vehicles and diagnostic aids so the following are the few examples of each class of the crude drugs and that source first is the vegetable source and the examples are cinnamon digitalis saffron and clove next is animal source examples are beeswax cantharides cod liver oil and gelatin next source is minerals and examples are chalk bentonite asbestos talc kaolin and fullers earth next source is antibiotics and the example are penicillin streptomycin and tetracycline next source is allergens and the examples are pollen grains mold spores feathers and webs next source is immunizing agents and the example are vaccines seras and antitoxins and the last source is pesticides and the examples are pyrethrin rotenone and nicotine now we will learn the indigenous system of medicine the history of pharmacognosy is actually the history of medicine that is medicinal plants the first of beginning of prehistory on use of medicinal plants or herbs or animals and the place where and how used were not well known and those information were unwritten for a long time as a result the prehistory on herbs were almost lost however some information was recorded by oral transmission from generation to generation the written history the written history has originated which was based on reason religion and culture etc the written history was divided into the following parts and that first one is the ayurveda second is siddha then yunani homeopathy naturopathy yoga and aromatherapy in the indigenous system of medicine first one we will learn is ayurveda ayurveda it is the ancient oldest system of medicine in india the word ayurveda is derived from ayur meaning life and veda meaning knowledge in ayurveda there is an supposition that everything in the universe is made up of five basic elements that is pancha mahabhuta like solid liquid air space and energy these five elements exist in the body in the combina- combined form like vata pitta and kapha these three forms are together called as tri dosha vata is made up of space and air pitta is made up of energy and liquid and kapha is made up of solid and liquid these seven forms of tri dosha are called as sapta dhatu this sapta dhatu undergoes wear and tear process and form excretory material or mala now we will learn about siddha the term siddha means achievement this is the system of pre vedic period identified with dravidian culture and it is largely therapeutic in nature like ayurveda this system believes that all the objects in universe are made up of five basic elements namely earth water sky fire and air the identification of causative factors of diseases is done through the pulse reading color of the body study of voice urine examination status of digestive system and examination of the tongue now we will learn about yunani system yunani is the perso arabic system of medicine was based on the te- teachings of greek physicians hippocrates and galen yunani medicine is still visible in its being based on the classical four humors felgum that is belgum blood that means dam yellow bile means safra and black bile means soda but 
it has also been influenced by Indian and Chinese traditional system. According to Yunani medicine, management of any disease depends upon the diagnosis of the disease. Proper diagnosis depends upon observation of the patient's symptoms and temperament. Now we will learn about homeopathy. Homeopathy, it was conceived in 1796 by the German physician Samuel Hahnemann. The principle is reflected in the name homeo being Greek for same or similar and pathos for suffering. That is, let like be cured by like or more commonly like cures like. For example, Honey bee sting is remedy for apes gives us a powerful remedy in case of edema, burning sting pain and respiratory reaction. Now we will learn about naturopathy. Naturopathy or naturopathic medicine is the form of alternative medicine that employs an array of pseudo-scientific practices branded as natural non-invasive or promoting self-healing. Naturopaths focus on a holistic approach completely avoiding the use of surgery and conventional medicines. Naturopaths aim to prevent illness through stress reduction and changes to their diet and lifestyle often rejecting the methods of evidence-based medicine. Yoga Yoga is a science which helps to coordinate body and mind more effectively. It promotes and maintains physical, social and spiritual health. It also helps in prevention and cure of various psychic and physical disorders. Lastly, we will learn about aromatherapy. The use of essential oils for therapeutic, spiritual, hygienic and ritualistic purposes goes back to the ancient civilizations including the Chinese, Indian, Egyptians, Greeks and Romans who use them in cosmetics, perfumes and drugs. Aromatherapy is based on the uses of aromatic material including essential oils and other aroma compounds which claims for improving the psychological and physical well-being. Oils are described by Dioscoriates along with the beliefs of the time regarding their healing properties in his De Materia Medica written in the 1st century. Thank you for your patient listening.